Mosquitoes. The deadliest creatures on Earth are responsible for killing more than one million people each and every year. Mosquito control is an important public health function. Fortunately, most people in the United States live, work, and play in areas where publicly funded programs help protect people from mosquitoes and the diseases they carry. These programs, run by mosquito control experts, have made great strides in safeguarding our health and quality of life. For example, malaria was once a big problem in the United States, but has essentially been eliminated from our country. The battle continues, however, because mosquitoes still routinely transmit diseases. West Nile virus is the most common, affecting thousands of people each year with symptoms that range from fever to lifelong debilitating consequences, even death. Crystal Wally is living proof. It was heartbreaking. I have a husband and I have two little girls, and I was just scared to death that they were gonna lose me. My first symptoms, I felt really fatigued. I would go home from work, I would get off around 3.30. By the time I got home, I would have to get in bed and I wouldn't get up till the next morning. Then I noticed my lymph nodes were swollen. I had a rash on my upper chest and back. It was just really scary. But today, Crystal's on her way to recovery. I was completely paralyzed for almost a year. Had to relearn everything, had to have people take care of me, have sitters to live inside with me to take care of my children. And today, I'm not 100% recovered, but I live a functional life. I take care of myself and my family. Adequately funded mosquito control, disease surveillance, and public awareness are the best ways to protect our health and quality of life from the danger of mosquitoes and the diseases they carry. William Terry would agree. I was coming down with stomach flu, and my wife came to the doctor, and, and the doctor put me in, in the hospital. I went in a coma for three weeks, and then when I, when I came out of the coma, I was paralyzed. Like Crystal, William also contracted West Nile, and he lives every day with permanent effects of the virus. It's been 11 years since, since I got it. Now, I have to wear braces on my legs to, to, to get around and walk. The hardest part of it is trying to keep my balance. I can walk without the braces, but it's, it's not a pretty sight to see me walk. Mosquito control professionals, you don't realize how important they are to your community. So I'm really thankful for the people that we see in neighborhoods like mine. Rick LaBelle has a different story. His daughter lost her battle at the age of 20 after being bitten by a mosquito that carried Eastern equine encephalitis, also referred to as triple E. Children are not supposed to die before their parents. You bring them into the world, you raise them, you love them, uh, and you hope that uh, they go on to become successful. So the shock, it's just, there are no words to describe it. It's incredibly important, it's paramount for individuals within communities, community leaders, and not just community leaders, but everybody, every citizen of that community to support mosquito control. Individuals that work for mosquito control, they are unsung heroes. Don't take chances when it comes to mosquitoes. Protect yourself and your family and support your public mosquito control program by encouraging government officials to adequately fund public health programs, eliminating mosquito breeding sites on your property, and encouraging your friends, neighbors, and community to do the same.